Stan Jubilisco here. I'm going to explain what is meant by the term phase quadrature. You may have heard this term in one of your engineering courses and been a little confused. It's kind of a highfalutin sounding term, phase quadrature. Well, what phase quadrature means is a situation in which you have two waves, say, of the same frequency but different phase uh, in the extent of one quarter of a cycle either leading or lagging in this case the wave with the dashed line uh, is leading the solid wave by one fourth of a cycle a quarter of a cycle or 90 degrees of phase leading because we generally think of time as going from left to right so events here happen first followed by events later on to the right um, 90 degrees or a quarter of a cycle later the solid wave manifests itself one quarter of a cycle later than the dashed wave uh, it could be the other way around. We could say that the dashed wave, uh, well, we could say the dashed wave leads the solid wave by a quarter of a cycle, or we could say that the solid wave lags the dashed wave by a quarter of a cycle. But the important thing here is a quarter of a cycle, or 90 degrees of phase, and the two waves have to have the same frequency so that they maintain a constant phase difference of a quarter of a cycle. That is phase quadrature. Quadrature referring to one-fourth. Quad, you know, means four. So it simply means when you have two waves, a quarter of a wavelength separated in time or space, you have phase quadrature. That's all it means. That fancy term really doesn't boil down to be very much of anything fancy at all. I think that sometimes people like to use fancy language to make you think that they're smart. Maybe they are. Stangibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.